So just for you newbies, so you know what you're getting with me for Vlogmas. Put your sweater on. <gasps> what a good boy. Dress number one that I grabbed. The little bell on his sweater is absolutely gonna haunt my dreams tonight. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, have not been taking care of myself. I realized I forgot to put the fall wreath away. <laughs> you guys vlogmas day three happy december 1st i'm so excited everyone's vlogmas videos are going up the people who start on december 1st and i've been waiting for vlogmas all year long i mean i love it for myself like i love doing vlogmas but i can't decide if i love doing vlogmas more or if i love the constant stream of content more from everyone that i watch i don't know i love both aspects of it but i'm just taking like a quick little breather from work right now. I'm honestly so much more productive when Vlogmas comes because like I just get in the mindset of like go 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 because I'm filming myself I'm editing and stuff but also like having a bunch of content first thing in the morning makes me just like really want to sit down and watch but I'm the type I can't just watch I need to be doing something while I'm watching a show or a movie or something like that so I work while I'm watching all of these vlogmas videos and it works out really well but like I said I'm taking a quick breather my oatmeal is getting really cold I need to eat it and then I did also want to really quick address the vlogmas schedule for anyone who is new to my channel for vlogmas if you haven't done vlogmas with me in the past and stuff the very first year I did try to do the whole film edit that night put it up the next day I got so sick I got so burnt out so what I actually do is I film a couple days out so it gives me a couple days to edit and I still do like one formal video per week so I'm posting every day in December still and you guys get six vlogs per week but then one video is like a pre-recorded sit-down video so if anyone was confused by yesterday's video that's why that's up there and then this year and I think I did it last year for like the last stretch of vlogmas like the last 12 days of vlogmas there's no formal video i'm doing vlogs every day all the way through christmas i think where's my calendar and by then we're essentially pretty much almost caught up to me editing then posting the next day but yes yeah, starting on the 17th it's just all vlogs until christmas so yeah if you guys were like why wasn't yesterday a vlog that's why it gives me like a little break a little breather and allows me to kind of like work ahead or catch up if i'm falling behind on content and doing that schedule just makes it so i don't get sick i don't get burnt out it's a lot easier for me to do it this way but i'm not filming so far out that you guys are like super behind on what's going on so yeah i just wanted to explain that because i know traditional vlogmas is like film then upload though a lot of creators don't do that because we've all discovered that it's very very hard on you and like vlogmas is one of those things like if you're going to participate do it in a way that you can successfully do it that feels good to you that's not gonna like burn you out too bad and then i also i don't do 25 days of vlogmas i technically do 26 because i do like to still post christmas so i'm posting from the first until the 26th so just for you newbies so you know what you're getting with me for vlogmas but today we are picking my dress for my friend's reception again for anyone who's new just joining my really good friend michelle got married last month in a very intimate cabin ceremony i was one of her bridesmaids it was absolutely stunning such a great weekend you guys we got surprised with snow that weekend too it was so stunning seriously it was such a great time and such a beautiful wedding but she decided to kind of like do a split on the wedding with the intimate cabin ceremony and then a month later which is coming up in a couple days here she's doing a big reception to include everybody who couldn't make it and obviously everyone who could make it is also invited too so it's just like one big party to celebrate their marriage it's gonna be a lot of fun if you guys go back to like the fall vlogs you guys probably saw a couple that took place at her parents house where we're actually like planning out and mapping out the reception so yeah it's been in the works for a while it's gonna be a good time but today 
today we are picking my dress for the reception. I have three dresses that I've ordered and one of them you guys saw in my recent fall haul. But yeah, I have three dresses that I've ordered. It's a little tricky. I ordered them with the intent of going on a birthday trip later this month so basically like one was gonna be for the reception and the other two would be for the birthday trip but as you guys know plans are tbd and i hope knock on wood all of that stuff that we have to cancel the birthday trip if you are confused by that statement i would encourage you to catch up on the last few vlogs but yeah i had ordered three with the intent that two would be used for a birthday trip which like i said is hopefully not gonna happen so i don't know what i'm gonna use the other two for. I mean one of them I can use for like whatever birthday dinner I have but we'll just like have to figure that out. Maybe one can be for New Year's although we don't ever really do anything for New Year's so no idea but I'll find a use for all three somehow. We're gonna try those on together and then I'm gonna pick one just kind of based on what feels the most appropriate for the reception. I do know what Michelle's wearing so I'm going off of that. That's like definitely the baseline for kind of deciding what's gonna fit the best for this party. What are you doing mister? Huh? He was asleep and he just like popped up. What's up? Did you have a dream? Did you have a dream that startled you? Huh? You guys, do you see his pajamas? Like, they're all the way down his chest. I took his legs out in the back because, like, as he's sleeping and kicking at stuff, it gets tighter and tighter, but he keeps pulling on it. That cannot be comfortable. Do you need me to take that off? Do you want to go back in your sweater? Maybe the other ugly Christmas sweater? Yeah, let's do that. Come on, dude. I know that that's not comfortable. The fact that those PJs stayed on all night is a shocker. Wanna do this one instead? I know this one's cooler, but I keep falling out of it. Oh, okay. Come here. You're naked. Do you want scratches? Come here. Come here. Do you want scratches on your back before we put on another sweater? Oh. Oh, 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 this one has a bell. This is gonna be annoying. Put your sweater on. Oh, what a good boy. Oh. <laughs> what a good boy. You're making this very difficult. Thank you. Oh, wow. You are a pro. Oh my goodness, you are such a pro at getting dressed. Oh my god, do you guys see this one? It's got a llama on the back with bells. <laughs> And a scarf, and it's like the ugliest sweater that he owns now. <laughs> oh, you are so good. Thank you. Do you want a treat for putting on your clothes so nicely? Let's go. So here are the three dress options for Michelle's reception. This one over here is from Opali. It's like a corset style dress. It's my first time actually ordering from Opali. And with this, I actually got a pair of leather pants. I wore it in a vlog a couple weeks ago and I really like their stuff. So I would definitely put in another order at Opali. But anyways, this dress is option number one. It also has like a slit. Obviously, I'll try this on for you guys. And then you guys saw this one in my fall haul. This one is from White Fox. It's got like some cutouts in the front. The advantage of this one is that it is long sleeve. It is going to be cold. The whole party is outdoors at night, so, I mean, the sleeves might be helpful, but I don't know about all the cutouts in the front for this reception. I mean, it's, like, it's cocktail attire, but it's not, like, wedding rules, except for just don't wear white, so, like, it might be okay, but I don't know. I'll, I'll try it on, and I'll I'll see how I feel. And then this one is actually two pieces. This is from Princess Polly. And I saw Rachel Ottenreath try this on in one of her vlogs and I loved it. But it's this like mesh gold material. Super pretty. On the top, the back is actually super low, which I thought is such a nice detail. And then the skirt is a maxi skirt and the skirt actually fits really well. I was really surprised. I tend to stay away from skirts because they don't flatter my midsection very well, but this one actually really does. And I really like the set because like I could like split the pieces apart and style a bunch of different outfits with it. So yeah, like I said, one of these is gonna be for the reception for sure. And then the other two, one will be for my birthday dinner and then I'll find a use for the other one. Dress number one that I grabbed was the Princess Polly one. Well, not dress, it's like a two piece set. So this one's kind of like nice because if you have something a little bit more modest, you can pull this down and kind of make it just look like one dress, but probably just do a little bit of separation nothing too much it is a reception so i'm not trying to like be up here but 
just like a little bit just to show a little bit of separation between the two. I know when Rachel tried this on, she styled it low rise. That's not gonna work for me. Yeah, this one's so pretty. It's very, very classy. I love the material, like this shimmery gold mesh over it. I love the skirt. It does have a little slit. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. But I'm gonna get this back. So freaking pretty. I love a long sleeve with a low back. But I don't know. I'm just like not 100% feeling it for this. Like it's definitely a maybe. It's like a strong maybe. But I kind of wanted to go a little bit dressier. I mean it would feel dressier once I have like the shoes and everything on. Which I'll show you guys the shoes and stuff afterwards. But I have a specific shoe that I want to wear to this reception. I bought it for a different wedding and I just want to get a chance to wear them. They're like a little black strappy heel. If you guys know like the Jimmy Choo asymmetric bow heels, it's a dupe for those but in black. So that's what I would wear as the shoe with this. And like I love it, but I don't know if I love it for this. But I do love this set. Like I might do this on my birthday if it's not too dressy because if we're just going to a restaurant for dinner is this too dressy for my birthday dinner i feel like it shouldn't be i mean it's my birthday so why would it be too dressy but anyways yeah i love this one just not sure if it's right for a wedding reception so this is a much better try on than when i did the white fox one because i figured out i don't have to unzip the back. I can actually pull this over and pull this on. I feel like it would still fit better if I was zipped into it. For those of you who missed that haul, I can't zip up the back on my own. So this was all a lot more open. This feels so much better with the back closed. But now that it's actually zipped up properly, I actually really, really like this. I don't know if it's for a wedding reception. I mean, it might still be a bit much. I mean, the cutouts are a lot smaller when the dress is actually zipped, but I feel like I'm just gonna be a little bit too self-conscious in it all night. But I feel like maybe for my birthday dinner, this could be good, even if it's just a restaurant. I mean, again, why not let me dress up? But the longer I have this dress on, the more I love it. I feel like it's just so freaking flattering, except for just you know, the fact that I feel like I need to keep tugging at it i might add like an extra stitch somewhere or something and close it up a little bit more but i really love it like i feel really confident in this dress i feel like it's like hugging my body really well but again for michelle's wedding reception i don't like i would definitely at this point go with the princess polly dress over this white fox dress at the moment but i am just so happy with how much better it fits now that i'm actually able to see it fully zipped up like I love it. And also, by the way, I should mention, I got this dress in a medium. I think that this one would be a really great one for like New Year's Eve if you're going to like a blowout party. If you're going to Vegas at any time this month, this dress would be fucking killer in Vegas, which I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you guys now. We have a trip planned for Vegas that we're hoping to cancel for my birthday. That's where we were planning on going. So when I first saw this dress, I was like, ooh, Vegas. And that's actually kind of what I ordered it for, but also thinking maybe also for the reception, but mainly got this for Vegas. So if you're headed to Vegas during a cold month, this dress would be amazing. Cause like also too, the material is actually pretty thick. So it's actually really warm. I'm, I'm actually getting kind of hot in it right now and it's cold in Vegas during this month. But anyways, yeah, this one's gonna be a no for the reception for sure. Again, I would prefer the Princess Polly one over this one for the reception, but I do highly recommend this dress. I love it. I just can't get over how much I love the way that it fits. Y'all, we have a winner. Like this has to be it, right? This is perfect. So like I had mentioned earlier, this is like my first time ordering from Opali. I love the pants that I ordered and I have to say, I love this dress so much. I had originally kind of wanted to splurge and get a House of CB dress, but I don't know, I just couldn't bring myself to actually spend $200 on a dress. So I remembered that Opali existed and when I went on their website, it like, I feel like their dresses are House of CB vibes as far as like style and concept go, but I'm sure the construction is very different and stuff like that. Like I'm sure if this was a House of CB dress, it would probably hug a little bit better. I feel like the corset would be a little bit longer, but for a dress that was less than half the price of a House of CB dress, I'm really happy with this. I think that this is gorgeous. This is the exact feel that I kind of originally imagined for my dress and my whole look for Michelle's reception. So. I love this. This is stunning. This color too. I'm dead over it. Like this is 
a beautiful color but yeah i love the corset the only thing here on the top is this part is actually not attached like you guys can see it's got like a sweetheart neckline so i mean technically you can style it like this if you want i don't want to do that you could just let it cowl but i feel like it's a little awkward if you do that so i personally just like it tucked in like this i might pin it on the inside so that i don't have to keep fussing with it all night pull it nice and tight yeah i prefer that kind of look but anyways it has spaghetti straps that are adjustable i need to loosen them just a little bit and then this corset i feel like it hugs the rib cage really well gives a really really good shape like i said i just know that if this was house of cb they would have made the corset longer to also possibly hug through the top of the hip area a little bit which i would have loved but i'm fine with this like this this works i'm happy and then we do have a slit on the side and then it is ruched so it just kind of like drapes over any areas you're a little bit self-conscious about but i will be doing shapewear underneath here just to like really smooth everything out because this is a satin material and especially with satin because it just can show everything i always want to do shapewear for sure so that's like the only thing i would add or change here but i think that this is absolutely it this is the look i'm gonna do like a smokier makeup look i want to do something with metallics and then like kind of tones that match this dress and then for my hair i kind of want to do like an old hollywood kind of vibe like that big wavy kind of hair look i got some hair clips that i'm gonna style with this for my coat you guys might remember this from big bear i'm gonna do this big shacket because like I said, the whole thing is outside, so it's gonna be a little bit cold. I at one point debated a fur coat, but I know that Michelle is wearing a fur coat, and I just feel like the fur coat's gonna be a bit much. Like, I'm gonna look ridiculously overdressed with this dress plus a fur coat, so I feel like this jacket is the way to go, especially since my shoes are black. Like, this jacket will go with it. Actually, let me go grab the shoes for you guys so you can see them. So here's the shoes. I was obsessed the moment that I saw them, like so cute so like i said it's a dupe of the jimmy choo asymmetric bow heels i'm sure you guys have seen a lot of brides over the last couple of years wear these heels whether it's for their wedding engagement party bridal shower that kind of stuff these are a very very popular style from jimmy choo over the last couple of years but again i got mine in the black these are from ego shoes i hope that they still have them in stock i actually ordered them a couple months ago i've been waiting to wear these but i just i love the asymmetric concept i feel like this one's my favorite i like the bow on the back of the shoe the best but overall really love them i'll probably only ever wear them once or twice i don't care i needed them the second i saw them the reason why i probably only wear these like once or twice is because they are actually too big i got a size six because that was all that was available it's a little bit big on me i'll make it work but yeah so these are the shoes that was the jacket then i'll probably just do my jw pay little shoulder bag i have it down here so i'll probably do this bag these shoes and then this jacket so this is the concept for the look for her reception in a couple days you guys look how good he is that's chicken that i threw on the ground i'm not even kidding he's not touched it for 30 seconds i went and i put stuff away in the fridge i left the room they're still there leave it yes go get it you're so good buddy you are just so good by the way the little bell on his sweater is absolutely gonna haunt my dreams tonight <laughs> it's like every single time he moves even a little bit you just hear the little jingle it's really funny is it annoying you too he obviously doesn't care he's only had it on for a couple of hours but it's gotten to the point where sometimes i think i'll hear it but he hasn't moved <laughs> like it's already haunting me but it's so cute i don't want to take it off of him so i guess i'm just gonna be hearing bells for a while <laughs> i've been so lazy but i'm finally getting to the gym I'm gonna do a walk after leg day which usually I don't do because then my legs are dead the next day but I skipped my walk on Monday I think so I'm gonna do it today especially since there's like vlogmas videos that oh my phone just fell but especially since there's vlogmas videos that I can watch while I'm on the treadmill might as well take advantage of that it's so cold outside but since I'm doing a leg day I'm in shorts so anyways I'm wearing my blazers just since I'm walking, I don't like to walk in my vans. Typically I prefer vans for leg day, just because the toe box is wider on the ones that I have, but we can do one day in blazers. Shorts are the Bayleaf brand from Amazon. These ones have the pocket on the side, I love it. Zip up hoodie is Hanes. And then I have on this like long sleeve workout top also from Amazon and it has the little 
thumb holes in it. Comes in like a pack of two. The other color is like a light blue. God, I'm so cold. I'm gonna add another layer on top of this. I got my gym bag. Then I'm just gonna do my puffer vest over top. I wanna get a second puffer vest. There's one from Steve Madden that I've been eyeing, but I'm not sure if I really wanna spend that money on it. My legs are cold, but hopefully the top gets so hot that it doesn't matter. That was a pretty decent workout. I'm like still trying to kind of get back into things. I just have a hard time leaving the house. Like I want to spend every second that I can with Spartacus, but I'm trying to like also remind myself it's okay to take care of myself and take like a little, at least a little time during the day to go have a workout and stuff. It is hard to concentrate there because like I want to get home right away. So. I'm not doing like my full program though. I did actually go ahead and do the treadmill after leg day So even though I didn't do all of my typical leg exercises At least I can say I did do the treadmill as well and do like an incline walk after leg day Which always leaves my legs feeling so so tired the next day I rarely ever do an incline walk after leg day, but like I said, I've been off schedule had a hard time holding myself in the gym so it's like when I'm in there and I am willing to do stuff I'm like trying to force myself to do stuff I've also if I'm being completely honest have not been taking care of myself as far as eating goes I was barely eating last week and I'm like trying to get myself to eat again if you guys recall on the Black Friday vlog we went to go get some gummies I actually asked to go do that to get myself to eat which is ironic because Spartacus also is taking doggy CBD right now which stimulates his appetite though honestly I don't think he really needs because I'm pretty positive he'll eat on his own without it which is great very happy about that but still just for good measure we got a little doggy CBD for him but I'm on my way back now Let's see what he's doing have my little spy camera on him which by the way you guys if you have any relatives who have a pet and they don't have a camera look, he's just he's just curled up on the couch right now waiting he's awake though but yeah, if you have any relatives or any friends who have a pet and they don't have a pet camera yet, that is a great Christmas gift. I will link the one that we use below. It's called the Woe Pet Camera and Treat Feeder or Treat Dispenser, something like that. But it's a dog camera. You can also talk to your dog through it. This is not sponsored, by the way. They did send me the product like two years ago, but I genuinely fucking love it so much so you can talk to your dog through it you can like turn on the sound so you can listen to what they're doing it also has a bark detection so if your dog starts barking and stuff it'll let you know that like something is making your dog bark and then like I said it also is a treat dispenser you can like press a little button on it and it'll shoot out some treats which is really fun and then obviously too you can take pictures or record video with it also so really great gift if you're looking for something for someone who has a pet or maybe just got a pet I love spying on him through it it's like my biggest habit when I'm out and about as far as my phone goes I'm not checking Instagram I'm not checking YouTube I'm not checking TikTok I'm checking the dog camera all the time you guys I swear on my life this box was closed before I left because we're gonna take it and put it in the storage today did you open the box did you open up that box, huh? You're so silly. What did you think was in there? I know it smells like cinnamon because of the pine cones. There's like cinnamon scented pine cones in there. I wonder if he thought that there was food in there. I inspected it. It didn't look like he got into anything. He probably just popped it open and saw that there wasn't actual food and just left it alone. Huh? You're funny. Did I tail wag? Am I getting tail wags? Oh. I love it when I get tail wags from you. I love it. What are you doing? What are you doing, sir? Oh, oh the chest scratches, huh? Oh, we love chest scratches. Oh, I know. Oh, 
buddy. Oh, he's at that spot. Oh. So spoiled. Okay, Trevor will be home in a little bit, so I'm taking this box out. I'm gonna meet him at the storage. This one's the one that was just like holiday decor, and then I put like a regular decor in here. So it wasn't crowding up the closet anymore. Then when we put the Christmas decor back, I can just take it all out. I realized I forgot to put the fall wreath away with the fall stuff, but shoot, I don't wanna put this in there like this and it won't fit in the box. I wonder if we have a trash bag big enough. This should work. I just want to protect it at least a little bit from like dust and critters and stuff because I love this fall wreath. It's just so pretty. Hopefully nothing will get into this, but we'll see. Well, I opened up the storage and immediately found the tree stand, which is so dusty. Pull that out, that was easy. But I'm gonna have Trevor put this back in because I'm not dealing with it. I pulled them out when they were completely full of decor. He has to put them back. Trevor's pulling in, he put everything away. So nice. <laughs> Especially since I like found it right away. We didn't even need the ladder. <laughs> everything was so easy to put away. All right guys, I'm just cuddling here with Spart. He jumped up here and just laid against me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed picking and styling my reception dress outfit with me. Tomorrow I'm gonna be doing some party prep and then the next day, so not tomorrow's vlog, but the vlog after that will be Michelle's reception. I'm actually texting her about it right now. So excited, it's gonna be so much fun. So again, please make sure that you're subscribed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.